Hey. <laughs> We're back at 808 Center, this time for pizza. Yes. Uh, little G's. Uh, it's my it. first time trying this, but it's Sean has been here multiple times. I'm a multiple offender. I love it here. Ooh. Super, super thin crust. The cornicione is extremely crispy. I mean, it just crackles. So, and I hate crust because right? it's so bready. Usually, so I leave it on the sides. There's either a graveyard of crusts on my plate, but not here. I eat everything. And the pizza is uber thin. It's so light. That's that, really crispy. Yeah. Just for looking at the side. One person, one pizza, no problem. So let's get started. Well, this. I ate a whole shave ice before I came, so I don't think I can eat more than two pieces. That's why kids don't eat junk food before you have dinner. <laughs> well, it wasn't junk food, it was delicious. <laughs> so here we have the pepperoni salami and olive pizza. We also ordered a margarita because that's sort of the litmus test of every pizzeria, right? You want to have the basic, you want to be able to taste the cheese, the sauce, you know the crust. You want to squeeze a nice bit of lemon on there. Bring that acidity really makes the pizza come alive. Well, do you need chili pepper or is that like a no-no because -no it's so good? You can if you want. <laughs> yeah. He's got it. Make sure it's firmly on there because I've seen her pour it where the, <laughs> all over pizza. Oh yeah. All right. Shall okay. we squeeze some lemon? Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> oh, naked gun reference. That's a bad joke. Okay. Is that like anything before Naked Gun? I don't know. I think that was a Leslie Nielsen line. That's yeah. all I remember it is. It sounds don't like call me Shirley. it could have been something before. I yeah. Wait. Well, let's have the margarita because, I mean, that's really the basic, right? And then this is going to be probably a lot more bold and flavor, so you want to be able to taste the nuance of the cheese and the tomato with a hint of that basil. So I'm going to dig in. Okay. It's taking too long to eat. So. Okay, it's gonna be hot. Ooh, ooh, oh no, I ruined mine. <laughs> so sad. I'm just gonna bend it. <laughs> but now this one has like extra. Mm, I know. <laughs> so maybe I'll take from this side. I'll take this one out this one. Yeah. Let's see how quickly it goes. They fold it. Where's the cornicione? I see, it's very thin. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like I need a fork. Right here, can you get some fork? It got you. It's like magic, because oh, everything you. you want, he brings, like without us even asking. Mm -hmm. See, crunchy, light. Mm. Okay. I need my second slice of this one. Okay, it's a little hot for me right now. I'm a little worse though. We got it. It's a no flop crust. Even with extra piece of pizza, you bend it here and you eat it. Mm. Oh. Hey, this is like a light way of eating pizza. Gosh, it's gonna make very angry. The only way I could look, well, how do you eat pizza? Because it's also very thin. Mm -hmm. And so it will fall apart unless you hold it like Sean. That's why you. But then my hand would get all like wet from the tomato sauce. <laughs> oh no. Sorry. <laughs> my hand's completely dry. <laughs> mm. um, I'm a delicate flower. I'm taking Melissa's oh, place. Melissa Chang is here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Good, right? Simple, yeah. clean flavors. Mm, tomato is so fresh and light. Mm. Mm. Um, like, doesn't have like added sugar or salt or anything yet. Nope. It's just natural flavor. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Oh, so fresh. Yeah. So crisp. Maybe I can eat four pieces. Mm. It's in this like real clean. <laughs> Not that killer. Mm. Mm. It's almost like you can bake it. It's effortless. I can't wait for you guys. I am. Go ahead. Gonna dig in. Mm. So this one here. And you can taste like the olive oil too. Mm hmm. Just good ingredients. Mm -hmm. Really, you don't get to try it with the margarita, but everything else, and just thoughtful presentations of pizzas. Mm -hmm. I think they're kind of at the mode where they're changing the pizza flavors almost daily. Oh, really? 
Yeah. This will be leaky. Mm -hmm. But they're out of the scallop today, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. They have a mushroom with truffle. Die for The clam is excellent. Mm -hmm. And listen to this. <laughs> That's a good ponichoni, mm. huh? Mm. Wow. First time having mm. the salami and the pepperoni for meat lovers, that's it. With the olive, there's a nice saltiness, but there's a really good peppery note to it. The salt them crack some fresh ground pepper, and it comes right through. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. Mm. Yummy, yum. Not even taking a break now. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a tasty pizza. So good. Very good toppings. Mm -hmm. The combinations are very thoughtful. Ooh, but look at this olive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Very different from the margarita. Mm -hmm. A lot more stoked for salt, mm -hmm. meat, spice, mm -hmm. and pepper. This is what most pizza lovers will go for because mm -hmm. people love Pepperoni and salami. Mm hmm. I do. I'm a big pepperoni fan. I yeah, love salami. So this is it. And it tastes really clean, not heavily processed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And they're making adjustments to the menu. Oh, you got on the bus as well, so. Yes. My flavors. And now there's only three left. Mm. Oh, four. Okay. Six flavors and only four left. Oh, here and these sounds The Brussels sauce is good because it has bacon and gouda. Oh, mm. I'm surprised you didn't get that. I'm such a meat lover though. I love pepperoni. Yeah, okay. Mm. Mm. So it seems Nadine needed an extra pizza. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> But I'll go along with that. Sure. So let's get this. We've got the. And it looks like potato, but it's. Okay. Roasted Bartlett. Yeah. Bartlett pan with green. Sounds so Oh, sorry. There's a little bit of seed there. So, so it, it is a dessert pizza. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit this one up. Yeah. Well, I want to take this one because there's a seed. I don't want them to bite into that. So Oops. I did eat four pieces before, like I said. So this is my extra dessert piece. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Nice and hot. It is hot. Oh, jeez. That's good. There's a little sweetness. I can't get over that it looks like potato. Mm -hmm. It really does. Wow. The pear is so aromatic. It's perfume. But because it's like a Fried texture, it does taste like a potato at first. Next yeah, texture kind of pulls mm -hmm. the senses. Mm -hmm. Is that we're getting? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. You're gushing too much over Yeah. <laughs> but then the sweetness. The pear has got this perfume quality and it's kind of sweet. It's got the nice savory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It has a potato like. I think my, my brain's registering as potato. Mm. So it almost tastes like potato. And because it's so kind of, we thought it was dessert like, I thought it was honey, mm -hmm. but it's actually olive oil. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So it's actually sweet savory. Mm -hmm. It's funny how your brain registers as potato mm -hmm. and makes it think. It's forcing yourself to think and taste the potato. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. 
not quite dessert as I thought. Because it is like good, is it time? It has a good saltiness to it too. Mm -hmm. It's still very savory. It's almost like there's time in here, isn't it? Maybe it's sparsely, but this is sparsely. Not super, but it's actually It's really nice. So we're going to finish, and someday we'll come back and get the other ones with the clams. Or the mushroom truffle. Oh, yeah. That's good, too. Always something new. I want something new. I want something new here at Little Juice Cafe by Garibaldi. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye.